What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is Move Email. So Move Email is a really handy action because it allows you to move an email to a different folder inside your Outlook. Yes, you can use rules and routing rules and stuff like that, but eventually that kind of becomes a bit cumbersome and you have lots of rules to do certain things. You could simply have one flow with a bunch of conditions where it'll fill stuff and it'll all be in one place and it'd be nice and visual and, and you know, you love visual things. So, uh, so why not? Why not use this? So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in Power Automate here. I have a flow which has a trigger for when a new email arrives. Then click on new step and I can expand this and go to Office 365 Outlook. Then I can scroll down through the actions until I get to move email V2. So if I choose this one, it's going to ask me for two required parameters and an optional parameter. So the required parameters are message ID and folder. So message ID, I'm going to use the dynamic content from my trigger. So I type in message message ID. And that's basically going to say, get me the ID of this message that comes in and then we're going to do something with it. Next, it's going to ask me for a folder. So I could potentially find, um, find a folder here and, and put it in, but what I can also use is the selector. So you'll, you'll remember this if you watched any of my videos on OneDrive for Business. They have a little picker. The picker will look up folders and this is a list of all my folders that I have in my Outlook. So I've got conversation history, deleted items, drafts, inbox, junk email, outbox, and Power Automate and sent items. So I'm going to use the Power Automate one that I've specially made for this, um, for this demo today. So choose Power Automate and then that goes in there. The original mailbox address, this is if you're using a shared mailbox and you want to trigger this and find an email from a shared mailbox. You can put the shared mailbox in here and when it comes in, it'll look for that message ID in that shared mailbox and not in your inbox. Um, I'm not using a shared mailbox, I'm just using my inbox. So we're going to not put anything in that one. Uh, and then we can test this out. So we'll click on test. I'll perform the trigger action. We'll hit test. Now if we go over to my emails first. I have this Power Automate folder and there's nothing inside it. So if I go back to my inbox uh, and I switch over to my other mailbox, I have my Gmail here and we've got, here is uh, the email I'm saying move this please. So we'll hit on, we'll hit send. We'll switch back to my mailbox uh, and we should see the message drop into this mailbox temporarily before it's moved to the Power Automate folder. That's if everything's quick enough um, before before uh, the flow catches it. Oh, there it goes straight away almost. So it's now in this mailbox and we can see the, the email is in here. So if I go back to the flow, we can see that the flow runs successfully uh, and we can expand this and we can see some details about the email. So we do actually get some email details like the who it's from, who it's to, the, the subject, um, you know, is HTML, etc. So we do actually get a lot of content in there, but that's automatically moved it. So following on from my previous videos on uh, markers red, one of the things that you could do is you could have, um, say like a filter in here, um, in, in say the, when a new email arrives, you could have like a subject filter. So if email is something related to a project, you could mark it as red and then move it to a folder. If it's something related to maybe some advertisements that, you know, keywords are always in the subject, you could again mark it as red, move it to another folder. Uh, and you can do any sorts of any sorts of rules or things like that. You could uh, move these things uh, to, to another thing to be deleted. All these things are things that you can do. Uh, and this is a great action to allow you to really power up your exchange and power up your outlook. So what do you guys think? Is this something that you've used? Is it something that you didn't know about? Where do you sit on the whole idea of using Outlook rules versus using Power Automate to manage your out, your, your Outlook? Uh, it's definitely something I'm going to be looking into as a way to optimize my Outlook. I work on a zero inbox policy, so anything that's in my inbox, I action and I get rid of. I do end up just deleting loads of emails on a daily basis of just spam or, or advertisements or just things that I don't need anymore. Um, so this could be a way for me to just go, right, okay, I'll move it to this inbox uh, temporarily, 
um, I'll, I'll review those on a daily basis and then maybe I'll have another flow that like, you know, every month it'll go through that inbox and it'll move on to the recycle bin or something like that. Or, you know, I'll, I'll delete the email. So there's loads of options here. Um, but as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. If you found this video uh, useful, if you could like it and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.